morning, everyone. It's 842 on Thursday, and because it's Thursday, it is Claims Day. And today is a really good example of what if they made an announcement and nobody cared. Uh, claims, actually, initial claims up. Estimate was for uh, 200,000. We came in at 228, um, you know, versus the... Uh, the numbers from yesterday from ADP, uh, and they actually were projecting 238. Seems like uh, it's a little bit more on the ball with our numbers than theirs. Um, continuing claims were, uh, let's see, a million eight twenty three. That is the highest number since December of 2021. Um, the market which when I came down this morning was up 30 in the Dow, down 20 in the NASDAQ, and up two in the S&P. Right before the number came, we were up 12 in the Dow, down 40 in the NAS, and down two in uh, the S&P. Right now, we're down 17 in the Dow, 48 in the NASDAQ, and $5.13 in um, the S&P. However, you know, this is this was supposed to be, uh, you know, why, this generally is widely watched and the market's doing absolutely nothing with it. Okay, um, Disney is up a shade here, literally pennies. Um, but last night, when I did last night's Daily Note, it was the only mega cap that was up out of 15 and even then it was up only 20 cents shell oil s h e l this used to be r d dot s which was royal dutch and it, it was basically it's a foreign company uh, uh england um the stock was pardon me the stock is uh 60 54 up 67 cents. What I found interesting uh, was the fact that they said they were going to have a loss, but the company reorganized not long ago. So really, um, it's not an operating loss. And the other thing that interested me is that they see big growth for them in LNG. So uh, we bought a little uh, UNG yesterday. We have the Tellurian. Um, I'm looking at a couple of others, maybe uh, Devon or Energy Transfer, ET or EOG to add to the um, page five in the weekly letter, stocks for total return, because some of them yield as much as 9%. Uh, Abby lowers uh, guidance. The stock closed yesterday 160.80. Uh, this morning it's been as low as 157 and change, but the last is 159.40. It's only down a dollar 40. Um, Costco, which had those poor numbers yesterday, um, last night it got as low after the announcement of uh, the decline in same store sales. It got as low as 479.50. I mentioned that because in the real world this morning, it only has a low of 182 and a quarter. Um, so that's a little bit better performance. And the last is 484. So that's about $5 off the low, uh, but still down uh, $12.43 or 2.5%. And, and a big loser, Lumenton, L I T E. Um, the stock closed yesterday 51.31, down $1.15. This morning it's been as low as, or the last is 43.70 down. Uh, $7 and 61 cents. Um, this was a discussion, a filing by the company saying that they have two large customers, Apple and Sienna, who have now crossed the threshold into 10% each 
of revenues. Um, that's kind of a dangerous um, situation to get yourself into. Um, and on top of that, 30% of their revenue comes from two, quote, unnamed companies, customers. Okay. Um, again, what if they gave a market and nobody cared? Oil up seven cents, that gas down 170, uh, grains slightly lower, uh, gold down 540 after an amazing recent run. The silver $25 down, you know, three or four cents after a massive run. Uh, the copper is up uh, about a penny. I'm still looking for an entry point on that. Uh, in the softs, we have cotton up, coffee up, sugar up, cocoa up, lumber up. Uh, the dollar is up 14 cents. The Bitcoin is down 365, Ethereum down 48, and the bonds are sharply unchanged at down 132nd. All right, folks, I'll be back later. And uh, they're still showing on the schedule that the monthly non-farm payroll numbers are being released at 8.30 tomorrow. So if we see that, um, I will put out a story. Have a good one.